Hey, what is up guys, Chris here, and today we're gonna talk about a uh, debate lately uh, all over the media. Why should you buy an iPad Pro or a laptop? Is an iPad Pro better than a laptop and all that stuff? Today I'm gonna tell you what I'm using and why I'm using and how that fits in my workflow and I'm hoping that will help you decide if you have those kind of thoughts right now, especially with the holiday season and maybe you are trying to, to uh, do a gift for someone or maybe you are trying to get something for you. So stay tuned and if you're not subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and press that subscribe button and uh, give it a thumbs up if you like the video, maybe share it with friends and people who are thinking about the same thing uh, of buying a, a good device, a good gift for, for their loved ones or for them. And let's start by saying that I'm using a 10.5 iPad Pro 2017 with 256 gigabytes of um, storage. This is my daily driver. This is what I'm using every day for all kinds of stuff. Uh, lately, I got a Dell 9365. As you probably know already if you're a subscriber because I put a video up, a preview of that, uh, um, you know, device. And I uh, said a few words, like my first impressions about it. I'm going to link it up here somewhere so you guys can go ahead and check it out after you're watching the video. But today is all about what should you choose if you're a content creator or a videographer, a photographer. What would you choose if you will have to do all the stuff on one device? Uh, I believe that iPad Pros lately are kind of all-in-one devices, especially with the power that they provide and the quality of the screen. And uh, I don't want to sound cocky or, um, you know, totally totally biased but if you don't have this one go ahead and check one uh, try it and if you, if you have a friend that has one maybe get it for a couple of days and see what you can deal with it because it's amazing for me uh, it started with the simple fact that I want uh, a more portability less weight in my backpacks less weight uh, and less bigger things on my desk though uh, I still have my desktop because I need to that's a powerful machine that I'm doing all the editing and everything that I'm, I need to do uh, fast on it. But this is for here, this is for the house, for the uh, office. When I'm outside and I, uh, I'm going for a shoot or I'm you know traveling and I need to have a very powerful, very small and portable, uh, very lightweight and super, super nice device with me, I'm taking this beautiful iPad Pro that I can do a lot of stuff on and I'm gonna tell you in a few words what I'm using, what apps I'm using and how they help me. First of all, um, I'm starting with the most important ones. I'm using the Lightroom and the Photoshop uh, mobile apps. Photoshop, it's not the full one. Uh, in 2019, they, uh, they probably come up with the beautiful Photoshop mobile. Uh, this one it's the Photoshop uh, fix, I believe, that I'm using very rarely, but I still have it because it's useful. Lightroom uh, CC mobile, it's the one that actually uh, provides anything and everything that you need in terms of editing photos. And I can tell you for sure that if you are a photographer, you'll be very happy to have this app on your iPad because it will help you just synchronize pictures uh, between your uh, main editing machine and the laptop and keep doing it if you're on the go or stuff like that. The third app, it's the LumaFusion. Uh, I think there are a lot of videos around here about how you can use LumaFusion to edit your videos. It's a very powerful uh, video editor that uh, LumaTouch did a great, great thing with. Uh, it has a lot of features, you can do lots, you can do uh, color correction, you can do a lot, a lot of stuff and it's very simple, pretty much like a Final Cut Pro uh, in terms of uh, look and um, usability. Another app that, I, that I'm using is Dropbox and I'm uh, using Dropbox more than I'm using Google Drive because all my stuff is on Dropbox for a long time and I don't want to switch right now and just, you know, go ahead and, and uh, move everything from uh, uh, cloud to, to the other. That's a great app if, you're, uh, if you have the iPad Pro because you can upload everything that you need on your main machine on the Dropbox and then take them down uh, on your iPad uh, from Dropbox and have everything set up and organized perfectly. 
Another app that I'm using, it's Adobe Sketch. This is very rarely used when I'm trying to relax on my couch and I'm trying to sketch something. I'm not a very, very good um, illustrator, but, you know, and, and uh, drawer and painter, but I, I'm doing pretty well and I'm happy to always improve my skills with different stuff. I also have the Snapseed app, uh, that's another editing app for those of you who don't know. It's a mobile uh, editing uh, app for photos and it does pretty well. But comparing with Lightroom and the last updates uh, that Lightroom had, I think that this one now is way, way uh, underpowered because with Lightroom you can do a lot of stuff. I'm not saying that Snapseed is not good, it's very well. I'm actually using it on my phone because it, it works better on uh, on a small screen. That's pretty much it in terms of um, creative apps. I'm using the Gmail app and the Yahoo uh, Mail for my uh, mails, uh, as well as I'm using the notes for everything that I need to sketch fast or schedule or take a note of. But the Reminders app and the Notes app are very good for me. And in terms of organizing, I'm using the file manager uh, that uh, iOS provides. That's it. That, that's what I'm what I'm doing on my iPad. I think it's pretty much everything that I, I need. Now, isn't a laptop better than an iPad Pro? I don't know. I, uh, I'm not sure that that's the question. I think the question is, should I buy an iPad Pro and a laptop or just an iPad Pro? Because for me, uh, I think that everything that I need, I can do on the iPad and that's that's a good thing. I don't have to carry two devices with me, but the, I know there are people who are like to have, uh, you know, a full keyboard and that laptop experience. So if, for those of you who consider this just a toy, uh, it's not a toy, it's very powerful. You can do tons and tons of stuff on it. Uh, but the laptops are uh, still great to, to have and uh, in some uh, aspects I think the laptops are beating these iPad Pros. The just not for me, uh, I uh, got the Dell XPS 13 uh, for probably two weeks or three weeks and I'll probably send it back because I realized that everything that that thing can do, the iPad can do better. and. I don't want to have two devices just, uh, you know, to show off or to uh, to make sure that I have a laptop uh, like anyone else. I, I'm using whatever it fits in, in my workflow and whatever helps me to uh, to do my uh, job and to, to improve my business and all that stuff. Now, I'm going to show you the most important accessories that you might need if you opt to go just with the iPad. First of all, this is a must. This is something that you should have no matter what if you buy an iPad Pro. This is the Apple Pencil. It's not a uh, cheap thing. It's an expensive one. Uh, it costs $99, but I'm telling you this thing will totally change your experience with the iPad. I have a few gripes that I should mention with this pen. First of all, and the most important one, is the way you're charging it. You have to put it here in the lightning port and charge the pen. You also have an adapter in the box that you will probably lose in the first uh, week. Uh, I actually lost three of them. So uh, it's very easy to lose because it's a very small adapter. I'm thinking that they should do something with it and they did with the 2018 when they had that uh, magnetic charging on the side of the iPad. I think that they should have come up with something like this for this one but it is what it is. It's good that we have them and we can do all kind of stuff. This is amazing for uh, retouching and editing photos as well as video. Uh, it's also nice to you know take notes on the go uh, if you really uh, like to you know, be more uh, vintage and uh, old school and write down whatever you need to, to remember. I really love this thing in combination with the iPad Pro. It, like I said, it's, it's a must. Uh, I'm not bragging, I'm not, I'm not cocky, but you should buy one of these and go with the original ones because the palm rejection, the feeling, the experience, everything is perfect. Another very useful device, it's this beautiful card reader that you will probably pay around 40 bucks on it. Uh, it's an Apple card reader that goes into the lightning port and it's very helpful to go ahead and uh, you know unload all the pictures that you want to edit on your iPad directly from your SD card. You're putting in the port and the iPad is going to start uh, importing. You're going to ask you if you want to import the pictures. You can select whatever you want to import. 
it's very very useful i also have a, a card reader this one is for uh, sd and micro sd cards that you can use in conjunction with this uh, adapter this is a lightning to 3.0 i'm not sure if this one works anymore with the ios 12 because um, apple did some uh, changes and ios 12 is a little bit more limited uh, right now uh, i know that in, in the past you will be able to actually connect your hard drive uh, to the iPad now you are not able to maybe they'll come up with a new update hopefully a new firmware uh, update for for their iOS and you will be able to do that again because it's very very useful you can have a lot of storage uh, like 512 gigabytes I have 256 and that's not enough for any creative but still it's it's good enough for what I'm doing it might not be for others who are using uh, tons and tons of, uh, of uh, gigabytes of footage or uh, uh, photos or stuff like that the last accessory that i'm going to show you it's a, uh, a cheap uh, lightning cable that i bought the good thing of it is that it's retractable as you can tell you can uh, do a huge cable out of i don't know a small piece of plastic and this is very helpful if you want to keep the weight low and uh, you know the space in your backpack or whatever you're using in your bag uh, just use one of these you won't tangle ever uh, it's very hard to broke because it's uh, ribbon style so it's it's a little bit harder to broke than the original Apple cable this works very well not all of them do the third parties are not all perfect but if you find one just stick with it and you'll be happy so this is pretty much it for today guys hopefully this video will be helpful and you guys will uh, be ready to decide between a laptop and an iPad Pro I'm very happy with the iPad Pro and the laptop it does whatever it does very good but I think that for me iPad Pro it's more than enough uh, don't forget to uh, like I said share these videos with your friends and give them a thumbs up that will help a lot put your comments in the box down below and let me know what are you using as your daily driver and subscribe to the channel if you didn't already because it's very important we're gonna have a lot of videos and I'm thinking that we'll have a lot of fun here maybe you uh, have a different opinion but for me this is fun and I, I like to uh, you know interact with you guys and I'm hoping that we're gonna do that uh, more and more every day and I will definitely see you in the next one peace